Hello everybody, this is We from Mama Wee's Kitchen. I hope you are having a great day. Today guys, we are going to be making broccoli salad. Broccoli salad is a popular dish that's beloved for its crunch, flavor and health benefits. It's a versatile dish that can be made with a wide range of ingredients. This salad features fresh broccoli, florets, diced red onion, dried cranberries, walnuts, and pine nuts, all toast in a creamy dressing made with mayonnaise, sour cream, and white wine vinegar. The result is a delicious and nutritious salad that's perfect for any occasion, guys, from a casual picnic to an elegant dinner party. In this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make Mama Bui's classic broccoli salad that's sure to be a crowd breezer. So guys, let's get started. You know Mama Bui doesn't like to waste time. First things first, we're gonna toast the pine nuts and the walnuts so that they can cool down while we are prepping other ingredients for the broccoli salad. Now let's move on to prep the broccoli. So here I have about four heads of broccoli that is gonna equal to about five to six cups of florets once chopped off. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold the broccoli stem with one hand and use a sharp knife to cut off the florets from the stem. You can do this by cutting the broccoli head into quarters or smaller. If it is a large, then cut the florets off at an angle. The next thing you're gonna trim any excess stem from the florets so that they are all roughly the same size. If you want smaller pieces of broccoli in your salad, you can further chop the florets into bite-sized pieces using a knife. That's what I'm doing here, guys. Repeat the same process with the remaining broccoli heads. With this recipe, we are going to use raw broccoli. In a traditional broccoli salad recipe, raw broccoli florets are used instead of cooked broccoli. This is because raw broccoli has a crisp and crunchy texture that pairs well with the creamy dressing and other ingredients in the salad. Additionally, cooking broccoli can cause it to become mushy and lose some of its nutrients, whereas raw broccoli retains its nutritional value. However, if you prefer cooked broccoli or have leftover cooked broccoli that you want to use, you can certainly use it in your broccoli salad. Just be aware that it may have a softer texture and slightly different flavor than raw broccoli. Once all the florets are cut, we can transfer them to a large mixing bowl. Now let's move on to work on the mandarin. We're going to separate the mandarin and the syrup in two mixing bowls it's something that i want you to pay attention when using canned mandarins they are often used in broccoli salad recipes because they are convenient and have a longer shelf life than fresh mandarins however canned mandarins can become mushy when mixed with broccoli salad because they are already cooked and the acidic dressing can further break down the fruit's texture. You are more than welcome guys to use fresh mandarins, but also on fresh mandarins, you have to understand they have a shorter shell life and may not always be available depending on the season and location. Now let's put our salad together. We're gonna go in with the nuts. 
Toasted walnuts and toasted pine nuts are a delicious and nutritious additional to a broccoli salad. They add a crunchy texture and a rich nutty flavor that complements the other ingredients in the salad. Now we're gonna follow with dried cranberries. They add a sweet and tangy flavor that complements the savory ingredients in the salad. Next, we're going to dice the red onion and add it to the bowl. Next, we're going to add half mandarins. Then we're gonna go ahead and grate our cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar cheese here, guys. And that we would be the ones left behind. Add the cheese to the salad bowl. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the dressing. In a separate mixing bowl, whisk together the mayonnaise, sour cream, white wine vinegar, black pepper and salt mix all that up until the dressing is smooth then we're gonna go ahead and add mandarin syrup then we're gonna mix everything together pour the dressing over the broccoli mixture and toss until everything is evenly coated I still want there you have it guys mama Bui's broccoli salad like i mentioned before if you prefer to use fresh mandarins in your broccoli salad it's best to add them just before saving to prevent them from getting mushy alternately you could use other fresh fruits such as sliced strawberries diced apple or grapes that are more firm and won't break down as easily in the salad if you enjoyed this recipe guys give it a like subscribe and share it with your friends and your family guys good good news we have a website where by now you can go and write down all these recipes I haven't put it up there to print them, but you can get the recipes from my website, mamabuiskitchen.com. Let your friends know about it. I'm so happy we are still working on it, but it's online right now. We are adding more recipes and guys, you're going to love it. Go check it out, guys, and let me know what you think about it. Also, guys, shout out to my daughter's channel, Happy Mancha. Check her channel link. It's in the description box. Now, guys, let's dig it. Whew, I can't wait to dig in, guys. This is one of my favorite, favorite salads. This road that I am on, I gotta stay.